On paper, it has the look of a good old fashioned slugfest. Two power punching welterweights colliding in one of the most mouth watering pairings of early 2018. But really, there's so much more to the January 27th title tilt between hellacious hitting former super lightweight world champion Lucas Matisse and hulking Thai superstar Tuwa Karam. For the bruising Matisse, a win would mark the championship return to form of one of the sport's pure punchers and a man who tore a swath through a hyper-competitive junior welterweight division before finally meeting his 140-pound match in September of 2013 against Danny Garcia. A loss to Karam, however, as Matisse stated publicly, will be the writing on the wall for him to call it a career. In the other corner, Karam is looking to validate his ascension to stardom back home in his native Thailand with the freakishly massive 25-year-old pounding his way to a perfect record of 38-0 with 28 KOs while winning over the hearts of fans charmed by seeing one of their own seemingly thrive in a weight class well above the norm. But is Karam a real welterweight threat? or just a manufactured sensation who's been made to look really good against undersized and underskilled opposition. Regardless, testing either notion against the off the charts power of Matisse is incredibly risky, even if the Argentine vet is no longer in his destructive prime when he steps into the ring at the Fabulous Forum in Inglewood, California, USA. If indeed Matisse is slightly past it, he should still make for an extremely bruising matriculation at the world level for a project-type fighter like Karam. If, however, Matisse is slightly regenerated as a welterweight, Karam will be in for less of a lesson and more of an irreversible beating with the younger, larger, more deliberate tie unlikely to handle or match a rejuvenated Matisse's power, work rate, or hand speed. It's a fight that we know will provide either a star's birth or rebirth and a dramatic, violent assessment of the state of two fascinating careers.